why 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 up the streets done like this so why why do they do me that way it ain't right right why up the streets done like this so why why do they do me that way i'm not living this way i'm not loving this way i'm not living this way This music with a passion, I know You like the forum when it's rapid, I know You hate them boys when they clapping, I know You like the stack and keep it stacking, I know You hate them bitches when they plastic, I know They never preaching what they practice, I know You so exclusive Focus! How can I start the video on... There we go Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Life of Owls here If you are new, hello, welcome If you're returning, what's brackety bracken? Anyways, today I thought I'd do like a nice little girly chit chat as I like sort out this wig that's even lifting. We're gonna sort this wig out. I want to do like a nice girly chit chat with you guys. Just, you know, some real girl talk. You know, some juicy girly girl talk. I want to talk to you guys about dating and how I'm finding dating now that I'm a singleton. What dating's been like for me in 2020. All, all that good tea. This video is sponsored by Kalai Hair. I've worked with Kalai Hair before a couple of times and I really enjoyed their hair. This time they were kind enough to send me um, a 26 inch lace front wig. 108% density. And my good, good, good sis, um, Patience, Hair Virtue, plucks this for me and you know, did all the plucking and all that good stuff. And I just glued it down and we're gonna sort this out because it's a bit of a mess right now i've like done some gluing but we need to really go in and really you know fix everything and make everything look you know on point the hair is really nice really really soft i will say though it's quite um it's not high luster hair so it's not really really shiny 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 hair which is a good it, it, that's personal preference i personally prefer a slight more luster in my hair but some people don't like the higher luster look because it, it can look a bit wiggy so that's just something to note with this hair as well and i have also dyed this hair jet black using my garnier hair dye but i might stop using the garnier nutrice one um, normally I use my earlier, but I find the Garnier Nutrice one makes my hair grow a bit dry. This hair feels a bit, a bit on the dry side since dyeing it. It wasn't dry when I got it, so it just, I think it's the hair dye. But we move, we, we go get it cracking. I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit, get it all laying flat, and then, you know, we'll get some talk. So guys, ho, 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 ho. 2020, yeah, has been, we're only six months in, and it's been a very interesting year. Let me tell you something, yeah. I have... As you guys know, I'm a singleton, so you know, I'm a single Pringle. And I've, you know, I haven't really been, I wouldn't say I've been actively dating per se, but you know, I've liked, I've like dipped my toe in the pond, so to speak, you know, kind of got my feet a little bit wet here and there. Don't know how I've managed to do that during lockdown. Well, anyways, and what I can say is, is that the streets, oh, the streets, the streets are done absolutely done. streets are done absolutely done for there is nothing in these streets for me like I, I, do you know what it is yeah i feel like i was in a relationship for two years yeah and now that i'm like back into the wild yeah i'm just sitting here thinking bro is this what you lot have been dealing with this whole time like is this how bad the streets have been? Because the streets were a bit trash before I left, didn't it? They, they were a little bit, but there was still some hope there, do you know what I mean? Some like suitable candidates, some good people out there, some real out there. Now, I feel like all the real they're all cuffed up. Like all the girls have cuffed up the real And it's just like we're left with the scraps in these streets and streets are done. And whenever I say this, yeah, you'll get them guys that'll come and be like, oh my God, oh, here she goes again. Oh my God, stop the cap. Shut up, okay, shut up. You don't know what us girls are going through, okay? Streets are done. Streets are absolutely finished. Like, I wanna know guys, like, has it just got worse? Because I don't remember it being this bad. And it's like, now that I'm back in the jungle, I'm just like, God damn, there really is nothing here. Like, oh. Scary, 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 scary scenes. My goodness. Oh. Ooh. Right, guys, I've got 
so distracted with doing my hair, I forgot that I'm supposed to be chatting to you guys. See, I, I don't know why I even try too hard with these chit chat things. I'm terrible, terrible at these. Anyways, um, let's sort out gluing this wig down properly. Let's do that. So guys, as I was saying, yeah, moving on from what I was talking about, the reason I also feel like dating for me is particularly difficult is because like, I wouldn't say I'm like super hyper visible in it because whenever I talk about these kind of things, people will throw shots and be like, you're not even like some big time influencer like that. Like you must think you're like um, Patricia Bright or something the way you go on. Listen, no, but I will say that I've got like a, I'm not like super well known, but I'm getting there in it. Like I'm, I'm getting there. I'm not super, super, super duper well known, but I think I'm more visible, hyper visible than maybe the average person walking around that doesn't do YouTube, for example, I don't know. Anyways, the point being is I have found that it's made dating quite difficult like and I want to hear from my other like YouTube mates or any girls that ha are hyper visible and have a platform of any kind like do you have the same problem because I find for me it's becoming a bit of an issue like in, in two ways you get the guys that like are kind of scared because you're hyper visible they get a bit like I don't want to say intimidated but intimidated they're a bit like they're a bit like oh you're super hyper visible like this can't work like you're too bait that is the one I hate hearing them Ryan Ryan yeah. I'm filming Sorry. hate hearing that one so much it's like oh my god you're so bait you're so bait and it's just like I find that the guys that love to say that are the ones that I wouldn't be checking for anyways. So they come, they're kind of saying it unprovoked. It's like, you'll be chilling. Nobody. 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 No, seriously. Nobody. Guy that you're not checking for. You're just a bit too bait for me, like. Obviously, I, I, would, I would never... I, can't, I don't think I could do a thing with you because you're just so bait, like. I wasn't checking for you anyways. I wasn't I wasn't looking for you anyways. I wasn't this you're not you're not who I have my eye on anyways. It's alright. You be, be scared, yes. It's good that you couldn't do a thing with me because I don't want you anyway. Thank you. Unprovoked telling me no, you're too bae. I just I just could Did I ask? Did you see it see with men yeah? One thing I always say this and people think I'm joking. Even when they have nothing, it's audacity that they'll always have in abundance. Because what the hell? I wasn't even checking for you, they're coming to tell me that I could never go for a girl like you. You're too bait. You could never go for a girl like me because I wouldn't give you a chance to go for a girl like me. How about that? Did you ever think about that? Did you ever fa factor that into the equation? I bet you didn't, did you? <laughs> when you're quite hyper visible, right, you find that your social circle, people that you're around, tend to be other hyper visible people as well because you all go to the same events, you all run in the same circles or whatever cool but then i i put like here's the thing here's where it's different in it i feel like some people let's talk about i'm talking about i'm talking about heterosexual relationships here by the way so bear that in mind i think some girls um some girls like dating like the hyper visible people so like the rappers or the known producers or whoever's like super hyper visible because it also it's good for your image. Let's, let's not cap now. Let us let's, let let us not cap, okay? Like dating a rapper, a well-known rapper, is a good way for you to, you know, not saying girls only date rappers to climb to the top. I'm not saying every girl that dates rappers is doing it because they want a social climb. But I'm saying we're not gonna act like it's not a good way to, you know, get up there, like build a platform, build a following, date a rapper. But you see me, right? I mean this with all my heart guys, I feel like dating a rapper or another guy that's super hyper visible sounds like my idea of my worst nightmare. It sounds like my idea of hell. You know why? Because I feel like your relationship is just out there, everyone's all up in your business. And then my male friends always get on to me, they're just like, oh but if you're not going to date someone that's like in, in the creative industry that's hyper visible, how are you going to date? Because wouldn't most regular guys not want to date a girl that's well known like that? And I think about that often. I really do. I think like it's true. Do do the do the regular guys want to date hyper visible women? Like I do think about this a lot. Ladies, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? And then you get the or <clears throat> you get the ones yeah that wanna that don't mind dating hyper visible women, but for like the wrong reasons per se. Like they wanna like. They want to date hyper visible women because it would benefit them. Yeah, they want to date hyper visible women because they're like, 
I want to say they're like enamored by the idea of like, listen, clout is a hell of a drug. And if you think there's not guys out there that clout chase via the women they go after, you are sadly, sadly mistaken, <laughs> guys. I just feel like, I don't know what my options are when it comes to dating at this point. Like, what do I do? What, what am I supposed to do at this point? Like, it's looking like my options are limited. It's looking like my options are real, real, real limited right now. And the thing I find difficult with dating as well is, yeah, I feel like, I don't know if the climate has changed yet, but I feel like guys have become more audacious than they used to be. And do you know what I find very, very strange? Like, this, this, someone needs to help me out with this. Guys have this thing, right? And I don't like it, because I'm noticing it a lot, where they assume that you're taking them seriously, or they assume that you want, like, a relationship, or they assume that you're onto them for a relationship. And then when you kind of made it clear that, like, no, buddy, you're getting ahead of yourself. Like, I don't really want, like, I'm here for a good time. I don't know what I mean. It's like, they can't quite believe that you don't want to be with them. Like, am I the only one that's getting this? Like, pl please help me, because I, I don't know if it's just me, but it's like, they can't believe that. It's like, you'll tell them, like, yeah, I'm not really looking for nothing serious. And you know when it's like a thing where you're not even capping, they can tell that you're being dead ass as well, like, because you know sometimes you'll say I'm not looking for nothing serious, but you are. But you know when it's like quite obvious that you're not taking them serious like that, you've made it quite clear, like, through your actions, through what you're saying, that you're not really, like, you're not really sweating them like that, yeah? It's like, they, they lose their minds, they're a bit like, no, wait, this can't be. It can't be a thing where you're just on, you're not on me. It's like, guys want you to be bare on, even if the guy has no intention of taking you seriously, if he himself doesn't want to be with you like that, he himself was here for a good time, you're not allowed to also be there for a good time. You must, what, like, bro, what is going on? I'm gonna let this, why does this bit keep going up? I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this sit for a bit. I'm gonna let it sit under the headscarf and then we're gonna sort out this this sweetheart here and get us and maybe do some baby hairs. Am I gonna do some baby hairs on this unit? Who bloody bloody knows? I don't remember what I was talking about before I went off. But yeah, dating while house well da da oh, itch. Yeah, dating while hyper visible, the ghetto. Ooh, ah, the ghetto! The ghetto. The ghetto. Ho, the get ho is what we're dealing with right now when you're, a, when you're a hyper visible woman trying to date. It's just a no no. All right, cool. Let's sort out this because I want this to lay flat and it's just not trying to. As I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing this whole wig in the complete wrong order, but you know, already I've told you guys that I'm not a hairdresser. So I do things my way and it turns out all right. So I'm gonna keep doing things my way. If you are a hairdresser, and you don't appreciate the way I do things, that is absolutely, where's my comb? That is absolutely fine. You're very much allowed to feel, you know, annoyed by how I'm doing things. But what I will advise is that if it bothers you so much, rather than commenting on it, you could always, always start your own channel and show us how it's done. Did you ever think about that? Did you? Did you ever? Okay, just checking. I feel like for me, yeah, going back to the topic at hand, I keep getting distracted by my hair. I love it when I meet someone and like they're not on social media because I'm just like, yes, a rare gem. Just to go off topic on that for a second, because I feel like a lot of people these days are meeting their significant others and stuff 
on social media but I think for me this is just there's nothing wrong with meeting people on Twitter or Instagram whatever people are meeting the loves of their lives okay via social media I just can't do it because I think I'm just very difficult to move to via DM like I think it's the worst way to move to me like possible to try and DM me to try and move to me it just won't work out in your favor unfortunately because of that, I tend to find that I meet guys that like aren't on social media. Like I meet I meet guys in real life who aren't on social media and stuff. And then I'm just like, yes, he has no idea who I am. Doesn't know that I'm a YouTuber. This is fantastic kind of thing. Like <laughs> I've won. I talking to this guy as I was saying. But obviously, I didn't tell him that like I was a YouTuber or anything. Because he didn't, he wasn't really on social. So I never told him that like, oh yeah, I do YouTube or that. Like, yeah, I didn't tell him that I'm like an influencer or nothing like that, yeah. So then we're talking, talking, talking one day now. We're just talking as normal. Then he goes to me, oh, is there something you want to tell me? I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, imagine I'm chilling at home. I go to my sister's room to see what she's doing. And I look at her laptop and guess who she's watching? I said, who? He's like, you. I'm like, oh, lol. He's like, yeah, like, you didn't tell me you did YouTube or nothing like that. Like, why didn't you tell me? And I said to him, I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to then like go on my socials or go on my YouTube and like try have this like, I, I wanted you to get to know me outside of social media. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I didn't want you to have these preconceived notions about who I am or what I could be about. Like, I wanted you to actually get to know me properly without all that, etc., etc. It was just so funny how I got bad because the sister was watching me. Like, But I did not, predict that his sister would be someone that watches me like that like I didn't see that come in but the mad thing is with that is that like I think sometimes I underestimate how many people watch me and follow me and stuff I don't think I think I just I I really do I should just cut this bit off because it's actually getting on my nerves foundation and just put it on the lace just a little bit nothing too you know crazy it's a little bit of foundation just to kind of make the lace blend a bit better ah there we go you know another topic i really want to talk about because i've mentioned this on twitter and i've got like loads of mixed reactions regarding people's feelings on this year i want to talk about ghosting I want to talk about ghosting because I feel like I've been banging on about this type of visibility dating thing. Ghosting and like people's thoughts and feelings on it because I got like a mixed response and I basically asked on Twitter like because you know people talk about ghosting, they talk about guys going ghost, there's always the narrative that guys ghost women and things will be going well with a guy and suddenly he ghosts on you and blah 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 blah. So I want to switch up and be like girls have you ever ghosted someone before because I know I have. Um. I think I'm a bit of a serial ghost star, I can't even lie, but here's the thing, right, because it, it brought about a good and interesting debate about the how moral ghosting is and how mean it is and stuff. And here's my thing, I think ghosting someone who wouldn't see it coming, like things are going great, like as far, and you know as far as they're concerned they would not see you ghosting them coming, I think that is a little bit cruel. When both men and women do it, I think it's very cruel, it's not a nice thing to do and you should be able to if you're gonna stop talking to someone for whatever reason, especially if they're not gonna see it coming, you should communicate to them that you're no longer like interested. Oh, this hair is cute. I did the, what I had to do with this damn wig, don't you think? Yeah, I feel like you can at least tell them like that you're not interested or like express them that you're not really feeling it no more. Like you owe them that, especially if things are kind of relatively going well, especially on their side. However, <laughs> what I will say is, yeah, I sometimes feel like because a lot of women were saying they've ghosted guys for things like not going AWOL, not replying to texts on time. To me, I'm like, does that even count as ghosting? Because I feel like when a guy's doing stuff like not replying to a text on time, going AWOL when it's time for you guys to go on dates, I would just take it as the guy's not interested anyway. Hence why he's behaving like that. Hence why his behavior is inconsistent. Therefore, he's probably glad that you've stopped talking to him. I feel like if a guy's being mad inconsistent with me, and I decide to ghost him because of that or just stop talking because of that. 
I, I don't feel bad at all. I feel like it's, in my mind, I'm just like, your behavior indicates you don't really care about where this is going anyway. So if I disappear and just bow out, you won't care. But you know them kind of guys are the worst because you'll ghost them and they'll come back and be like, oh, what's the like? You forgot about me. Yes, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Yeah, they're the worst. They'll be like, oh, so what, you just, you just, you just forgot about man. Mm-hmm, sure did. Yep, 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 yep. Forgot all about you, mate. That's what I did. So yeah, in those instances, I'm sorry, I say ghost away. They don't even deserve an explanation from you. And they're probably flipping glad that you got the hint the way they're moving. And don't, let, don't even let don't even let them kind of dons come back on some, oh, you forgot about me, you just stopped talking to me. Shut up, okay? You know, they love doing that. You know, you were being inconsistent. I stopped talking to you, now you want to come back on some. You just stopped talking to man. Duh! The audacity, I'm telling you, the audacity the audacity but i feel like if you're talking to a guy and you just suddenly get the ick or whatever but he thinks things are going well and you ghost him that's kind of mean i've done that like I've, I've, I've done it before so i'm even calling myself out that is kind of mean like he's probably there thinking everything's going great and then like you've got the ick over something and then you're just like adios and he's just probably thinking like where's my babe gone like where where is she where, where'd she go why did she leave me you know i want to know like what you guys thoughts on ghosting are because some people were saying like ghosting is is the, like charge it to the game baby charge it to the game like it is what it is you know tough times never last only tough people last some people will say it's cruel like it's just um like it's just I'm about to wrap up this video yes yeah, so i'm actually done with my hair and i've kind of think i've run out of things to say on this topic but i just remembered something sorry to go back to this hyper visible thing yeah you know another thing when you're a hyper visible woman that you have to deal with more, I think more than other girls have to deal with, yeah? Crazy, crazy, crazy exes. I'll tell you why, yeah? I don't like calling people crazy exes, but when a guy has an ex that's not over him, innit? Like she's still on him, still in love with him, whatever, cool. Any girl he moves on with is gonna go through hell with that girl, beat her, sending shots at her, throwing indirects, whatever, cool. That I can deal with, yeah? But you see when you're hyper visible, it's like the fact that he's with a hyper visible girl, it mm, stink. I can't even do that. I can't do it. It really stings more. If someone I was with and I wasn't over the breakup or whatever, got with someone that was super hyper visible, like some proper hyper visible girls want to be seen and everywhere together, and I'm not even over the breakup. Child, I'd be paying in too, but that's I feel like they come at you 10 times harder because it's just like. They have to see you everywhere, enjoying with their form of boo. That's another, I just wanted to throw that in there. Like you guys, like I said, this is, I like interaction. You guys tell me your stories, your experiences. Am I just unlucky? Like do you guys not go through the stuff? Is it just a me problem? Am I just terribly unlucky? Let me know, cause if that's the case, then boy, I need to say some serious prayers, innit? The lace on this, if it looks a bit light, it's because this lace is actually transparent lace. I forgot to mention that it's transparent lace and I've run out of tint of um, lace tin, and for transparent lace, you really need lace tint. Lace tint is what gets to the right. I feel like with transparent lace, foundation doesn't always get it to the right color. If I had my lace tint, this would be, but we work with what we work with, you get me? That's it, hair is done. What do you guys think of my hair? I think it looks really cute. I think I did a good job. Thank you so much to Hair Virtue for plucking this for me because God knows I could not be bothered. So thank you, sis. I'll leave her details below. She's a really good wig maker, wig customizer. She'll get you right. Go support my good sis. Go book my good sis. Okay, okay. Um. Other than that, we're done here. Um, thank you so much to Kalai Hair for sending me this gorgeous 26 inch wig. I'll leave all the details in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.